You. I like it with Welcome back to Trunk Family Adventure. In this video, we will show you what we ate, and where did we stay in Ho Chi Minh City that has the best view, and where we took our kids to have some fun time. We came to this famous spot that served broken rice dishes that have been around for 24 years. This spot is jam-packed during dinner hours, but luckily we found a table right away. In the front of the store, they have these freshly made toppings that goes along with your rice dish, from sausage to shredded pork skin to chicken legs, pork chopped fried eggs, and pork eggs meat love with wood ear mushroom. You can customize any way you want, make sure you add carrots, pickles, and diced green onion oil to enhance the flavors. After placing orders, the food came out quickly thereafter. Each of us got our own dish with a variety of different toppings. These rice plates are fairly large. For myself, I got a simple one, which is pork chop, Chinese sausage, and fried egg. Pork chop with soft and tender is a combination of sweet and saltiness along with the charcoal grill taste definitely brought out a lot of flavors. The Chinese sausage was a bit dry and chewy to me, but the broken rice was soft and moist. Also, don't forget to pour some spicy fish sauce that they provide on the table. We also ordered caramelized pork and eggs and some extra rice on the side. Here I am mixing the meat and the shredded pork skin. I like breaking the egg yolk and eating it with the rice. It's really creamy and delicious. Here's a spoonful of the mix of everything. Mmm, this place was so good. I wish we had time to go back. For the first leg of the trip, we stayed at Saigon Royal Airbnb. It's a luxury high-rise condo right in District 4, border with District 1. It is a great choice if you want two or three bedrooms with a kitchen for family. We felt safe staying here with the security guard at all entrances. There's a Highland and Starbucks coffee and the GS25 convenience store downstairs. On third floor is where you find the community pool for the kids' play area along with the fitness room. The place is fairly new and spacious. There are also a rooftop with an amazing view for you to barbecue, but I forgot to film it. Let me give you a quick tour of our two bedrooms for Airbnb. So this is the hallway after the entrance. There's some cabinets here for you to store your shoes and they also offer some uh, slippers to wear in the house. This is the dining room area where there's just four chairs and a dining table. And over here is the living space with the TV and the couch. Right out here is the balcony. This is where you will hang your clothes to get dry because they don't have any dry here. But they do have a washing machine right behind the door. Over here is the cooktop, which I did not use much, but it's very convenient if you plan to cook. And there's a microwave, a sink, and a refrigerator. Here's a utensil and some plates and bowls. Up top is plenty of storage. They also provide you a rice cooker here too. And some glassware. Plenty of storage here if you plan to stay here for long term. So there's a lot of space for you to store your snacks. This is the bathroom in the hallway. The standing shower. And the toilet and a small sink with mirrors. And some storage behind the mirrors for your toothbrush and lotions. And this is the way to our first bedroom. It's a queen size bed with the working table right next to the big windows. And looking over here is our storage for your clothes. Plenty of space for you to hang or just fold your clothes down below. And looking outside is a good view of Saigon River and all these skyscrapers around. So over there is uh, District 1, so pretty much crossing the bridge you'll be in District 1 already. And this is our master bed. It's a king size. In the corner you will find a vanity or working table with a lot of storage space. And looking over the window you get the same view as the other room. 
Most of the units here are the same layout beside the pool view for a cheaper price or a little more price you get the Saigon River view. And back here is the closet. This is where you will be hanging your clothes, folding your clothes. They do provide a lot of hangers. Also some pillows up top. Some more extra hangers here and below are your iron and iron board. And of course a hair dryer. And walking here is the bathroom for the master bed. It's a little bigger than the hallway bath. This one has a tub instead of just a standing shower, which we did not even use. Most of the time there's only three of us staying here, but we like to have an extra bedroom to um, store our luggage, or sometimes our parents stop by to uh, hang out and they have a place to sleep. The best thing about this unit is that the view is so amazing at nighttime, you get to see all these lights. We stay here during New Year's Eve and looking below you see jam packed with people that are trying to line up to catch the firework at night. And luckily we're right on the balcony looking for, um, out there and the fireworks are just right in front of us. So if you plan to stay for New Year's and want to catch a firework, this is the best unit or the best view that you can get. We were looking for something fun for our son to do and found this kids cafe. It's called Meow Meow Kids Play Cafe. It's in District 4 and luckily it was right next to our Airbnb condo so we just walked right over. The price to get in was about 6 to 7 USD per kid. Adults just have to buy a drink. So it was pretty reasonable and there was not a time limit. The stairs had cushion on them, so they were pretty soft. This is the upstairs area. You can see there's a lot of cute tables for the parents or adults that accompany the children to sit at. This was our son's favorite thing here, the biggest ball pit that we have ever seen. It had trampolines, slides, a tree house, and some other stuff in the back. And they actually do allow adults to come in and play with the kids. This area right here um, has a lot of different rooms like construction play zone, a little camping play zone, a music room, a hospital playroom, and a dress up room. The staff later brought out these cool electric car rides for the kids. Our son really liked this train one. They could control it themselves or there's a remote where the adult could help them drive it. Each of us got ourselves a drink like a tiramisu coffee, fresh eye passion fruit, basil seed, pandan iced tea, french fries, and my favorite kumquat fresh coconut juice with coconut pieces. Our bills today was around 500 KVND which is about $21 USD. Cody has so much fun here that we actually came to this place twice. What I love about staying at hotel in Vietnam are the included breakfast buffet. This is a breakfast at Renaissance Riverside Hotel from 6 to 10 a.m. daily. This is my favorite buffet station in the morning. Make your own banh mi. Freshly made bread with a choice of proteins from Vietnamese ham to turkey hams, also grilled pork. Be sure to add cilantro, pork pate, carrots pickle, and cucumber and red peppers to complete your own sandwich. They offer different kind of noodle soup every day and today happened to be a spicy beef noodle. Just step right up and let the cook know what you want in your bowl and they'll make it right there. The bowl size are small so you have room to try other stuff. They also have broken rye dishes for breakfast today so I had to give it a try. Now these are my favorites, the pastry station, range variety of different sweet pastry to choose from, croissant to tart to sweet butter cakes or even cupcakes. These are freshly made every morning. I saw them refilling these every hour or so. This is a tropical fruit area. They had jackfruit, watermelon, dragon fruit, passion fruit, oranges and more. This is my plate of broken rice. I chose bacon, shrimp paste on sugarcane stick, pork chop, topped with carrots, pickles, and red peppers. It was so good. 
My breakfast usually includes sunny-sized eggs, so I pair it with some mushroom, potato wedges, cauliflower, grilled pork, and more grilled shrimp paste. And of course, a breakfast will not be complete without Vietnamese condensed milk coffee and fresh coconut juice. If you're near the cut-off time, they do allow you to box stuff and bring back to your room. Chicken skewer. Some hash brown. And made my own bánh mì. I like it with the lot of cilantro. Let's see, I put a lot of butter. Pickle and ham. Fruit, dragon fruit and jackfruit. And they have some new pastry today. Let's give it a try. This is the lobby of the hotel, very spacious and modern inside with a cocktail bar right at the entrance. Checking in was fairly quickly and staff were very nice and informative. There are many restaurants, bars and lounges within this hotel. The very top level is where you find a swimming pool, spas and rooftop bar. This is a view inside the hotel with pretty lanterns decorated from top to bottom. It's very quiet and clean in here, even though this hotel has been around for a while, but they still upkept it pretty well. It's the entrance. So once you go in, this is the bathtub, I mean bathroom, with the standing shower. You have one sink, vanity. Mirrors. Here is the toilet. Over here is the tub. So everything here is tile, marbles. Shower. Here is the closet. Bathrobe. Iron board, iron safe, some slippers. A kettle. And refrigerator is back here. TV. Uh, there's nightstand. It's a king bed. I'm in Mexico. You can't tell actually. That's the uh, computer desk, working table. This is the view. That is Saigon River. And this is the uh, main roundabout in District 1. View from the window above the desk.
Here is a stunning view of the daytime from our bedroom. We highly recommend staying here if you're traveling alone or with just two people and staying at Saigon Royal Airbnb if you have three or more members in your group or with kids. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please give a like and be sure to subscribe to see more adventure from us. See you soon!